All right, hello world, what's going on? Uh, uh, how are you guys doing? Because uh, I'm doing pretty well. Um, it's been a, a, a few years actually since I've posted a video, but um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go back at it and uh, I'm ready to put out some more um, tutorials and whatnot. And uh, to start it off, uh, I just wanted to uh, make a little quick video that was basically comparing GIMP and Photoshop and why there's reasons to even switch to GIMP for people that don't already know. <clears throat> So, uh, as you see here, this is 14.2.1 uh, uh, Photoshop CC, and I have uh, 2.8.14 uh, uh, GIMP. So, um, they're both pretty updated versions. Um, I don't believe my Photoshop one is the most current, but hey, it's, uh, it's good enough. <clears throat> so, to start off, uh, I just wanted to say... Um, you know, it's been a long debate for, for, for years now uh, uh, why someone would uh, actually, you know, go from the all-powerful Adobe Photoshop to GIMP. <clears throat> and there are really several reasons to back that up. Uh, to start off first, you know, we'll, we'll start from the basics, and that is um, uh, the fact that Photoshop is, is only compatible with uh, Windows and uh, Apple computers. Um, um, and uh, let's if you're a Linux user or... Uh, uh, depending on whichever uh, distro uh, distribution, um, you wouldn't be able to use it. I don't even believe it's accessible using the Wine app. Maybe, but it would still require a lot of tweaking that the average computer user would never be able to to will not technically really be interested in doing. It's just too much work. They don't they don't want to do that. They just want to get in the program and use it. So <clears throat> GIMP, on the other hand, is open source and available on all operating systems. <laughs> Uh, and it's pretty easy to install. It's usually involved in, a, in, in it's usually installable uh, directly from their site or from uh, the repositories that either of the operating systems have. Um, <clears throat> second would be the uh, the uh, the price. I mean, Photoshop is is a great software, but at the same time, it is uh, also expensive. Uh, even if you want to pay monthly for it. Um, and you can always try to find a portable or maybe some uh, hacked version of the software, but you, you know you'd have to take the chance of possibly getting a virus. You have to scan it. You have to go and make sure that the links you're getting are legitimate and that it's actually a good working program. And you know that's always an option, but <clears throat> even then you still don't get the full accessibility that you would get with actually purchasing it. So I can see why many people, as myself, use GIMP. Um, I actually use both of them. Uh, I use Photoshop usually on my Windows machine, and I use GIMP on all of my uh, uh, Linux machines. Um, uh, and I, I, I find it very, very, it's still a very powerful program. Um, Photoshop does have uh, slightly more features. It also has an incredibly huge uh, uh, database of text and, and just all types of different um, uh Capabilities. I mean, between uh, fixing pixels and 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 correcting everything, and imaging and colorful and color fills, and uh, just all types of options all throughout the program, <clears throat> uh, layering everything just seems a tad bit better. However, GIMP does not lag behind completely. Uh, it it also is involved with it. It also has an incredibly high database of. Uh, of many different texts and many different uh, features, not as much as Photoshop, but they keep up with each other. It's able to perform all of the basic features that uh, any average user would want to use on Photoshop, as far as uh, recoloring, changing images, cropping them, you know, adding effects, adding layers and filters, uh, <clears throat> doing little animations or or whatnot. Um, it, it's still capable of doing it, and it still has a very similar interface. Um, uh, a lot of the uh, Dialog boxes are separated, and and that makes a, a bit of a bit bit more difficult, you know, than Photoshop having such a clean UI that just has everything all in one. Um, but as far as their actual mm, the output, they both are able to omit pretty much all uh, types of uh, extensions, and they can do pretty much any format of images um, and uh, animations. However, Photoshop is a bit more powerful especially when it comes to uh, transforming something into a 3D perspective. Um, uh, and uh, as far as, you know, installation and boot, uh, they're pretty much about the same. They both are easy downloads. Uh, you install, uh, depending on your speed of your processor your mo and uh, your motherboard and your hard disk, and depending on your internet speed, uh, that can make a difference. But... Uh, 
usually the install probably takes about you know five five six minutes for each person uh, counting you know running the program and uh, the first uh, run for both of them always takes a while uh, because they are querying all the plugins they are also scanning for all the fonts and all types of uh, goodies that uh, the developers packed into <clears throat> the uh, programs so Honestly, I think that if you are in a budget or if you are a Linux user or if you um, are just interested in something new, maybe something uh, not as, as heavy or just, a, just something different, GIMP is a wonderful, wonderful choice and obviously, in my opinion, the, the only other choice to Photoshop at the time, at, at the current time. <clears throat> um, and... Uh, that's just pretty much the difference. I mean, uh, there I could get deeper into the specific features, but that would require an incredibly long video, and I don't think you guys really want to stick through that. So uh, it's up to you, but uh, I, if I was you, I would actually keep both of them on my system. I, that's what I do uh, for at least this Windows system. I actually keep both currently, not just to do the videos, but just to play around with uh, each one. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's nice. I don't know. Um, but uh, <clears throat> that's a comparison between uh, GIMP and uh, Photoshop and uh, pretty much the reason why you would choose GIMP over Photoshop uh, in any circumstance and um, I hope you understand and I hope uh, more of you start to uh, try it out um, so thanks for watching the video uh, look out for more and uh, please rate subscribe and um, yeah